welcome to my new bedroom. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the process of giving this entire space a makeover and I'm not going to lie to you, I prioritised this room because I really wanted a good night's sleep post moving process because it was a lot so I'm really pleased to finally be able to say that the bedroom is done. Before I jump in, I want to let you know that today's video is very kindly being sponsored by Emma, which I fully attribute to my brilliant night's sleep post move. I'll tell you a little bit more about that later because the unpacking process was, um, that was fun. <laughs> I can never just do anything gracefully, can I? No. Oh well. But first, let me remind you of what the bedroom looked like beforehand. I hadn't had the time to put anything away or get anything sorted, but I did get a few clips on my phone of the unpacking process, so I'll insert those here. Hi, good morning. Today I'm gonna sort out the bedroom, which currently looks like this. I've got the setup, but there's loads of stuff that needs to be put away and unpacked. This needs to be sorted. There's stuff going on here. And honestly, because I want to paint this wall, I kind of want to see what the bed would be like here. Because I think the brick wall's really cool. This broke during the move, so I'm going to try and wood glue it back together. Okay, progress update. Ta-da! The side table's fixed, I've put it here, I'm just not going to touch it for the rest of the day. And the bed is exactly where I think I'm going to want it, so... I've moved my desk over here. I think I'll paint the wall. I mean, I like it, but it is dark in here, so I think it'd be nice to freshen it up a bit. And then I still have some stuff to unpack, but I'm gonna work on that tonight. Oh my God, it looks really bad from this angle. But first I need to get my mattress put down. So this is where my Emma mattress comes in. Oh, it's still expanding. Oh, it's nice. I hope I put this the right way up. We will soon find out. I am going to attribute all of my good sleep recently to this mattress. And oh, the duvet. I love the duvet. It's my favorite duvet I've ever had. It's perfectly warm and cozy, but still really lightweight. I've never experienced something quite like this. It's just like being inside a cloud. If you're interested in any of the Emma products, they're having an amazing Black Friday promotion. And if you use my code that I'm gonna link below, you can get up to 52% off, which I think is an incredible saving. So if you wanna check it out, link in the description. After a few very restful nights of sleep, I was ready to turn my attention to finally painting that dark wall. This is what the space was looking like before I started painting, and as you can see, it just feels very gloomy in here in the winter. In the summer it's much nicer, but in the winter it needs to be a lighter colour to feel a little bit more alive. The space was really getting there, it just needed a lick of paint and a good tidying up. So with the paint secured, it was time to get started.
After finishing the painting on the same day, I decided to do a few more potentially messy projects and get them all out of the way. The first thing I wanted to do was get this vintage Kappa's shell lampshade up on the ceiling. I did notice there is a patch up here that I need to paint. I didn't realise until editing, so that's my project for this weekend. I also wanted to coat these sconces with a coat of gold spray paint. I picked these up in Ikea the first time I decorated this room and they were to cover the kind of outdated sconces that we have on the wall already, but I was going to bored of the colours so I just refreshed them with some gold and before adding those I just wanted to put up my mirror and this is my mirror that broke if you remember this a few years ago. I then had it cut at a glass cutting warehouse for £20 and I got it cut into an arch shape. They also supplied me with this set of mirror screws so these will hold a mirror in place if it's not got any fixings on the back. They're really handy and they had little caps on them so I just screwed those on top to give it a nice finished look. I love this mirror because it's kind of like a rose gold so it looks a little bit unique and different and it works perfectly as a vanity mirror now. With the painting done it was time to put up a few personal touches in the room and style the space. So I finished up the space and I did all of the styling and it's safe to say I'm really in love with how it turned out. Just to remind you, these are a few shots of what the room looked like before and during the process. It was just really cluttered and dark and a bit moody in here and it was time to give it a little bit more life. And then this is what the bedroom looks like now. This was a very simple project but it made a big impact and I'm really pleased I got it done as one of the first rooms so I have a space that I can call my own and I can feel cosy in. And although this was a very simple project, I do have some bigger ones coming up in the rest of the flat, which I'm putting off because I think the kitchen's going to be... I think that's going to be fun. <laughs> anyway, with that being said, I'm really pleased that it's done. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if you have done any refreshes of a space in your house recently too. Have you just painted a wall or done something to make your space feel completely different? That was very easy to do. Let me know in the comments below. With all of that being said, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Happy decorating. Bye.